Everybody? Yes? Okay. All righty. So we're going to start with the cards I've made this week. Okay. So I saw on a live demonstration, somebody briefly showed a card similar to this one. And I liked it. And so I figured out how to make it, and then I made it. So it uses the Lights of Glow dies that are just fantabulous, and I find myself using them over and over and over again. And I made one in traditional Christmas colors and one in non-traditional colors, and I actually think I like this one better. So this is Starry Sky and Fresh Freesia, and I add a little of that Fresh Freesia ribbon that I like, along with some silver. Hey, Julie! All right, and then this one is Shaded Spruce and Real Red. Um, but again, I love these dyes. They're just so pretty. So pretty. All righty. So those are some cards I made this week. And then some others. Again, I'm trying to use my stash, right? So I found some old designer series paper, and I came up with these. Um, who else besides me loved Pretty Peacock, right? Loved Pretty Peacock. So I created these cards using something new, though. Let me grab it here. The Framed and Festive stamp set. Now, this will be available to customers November 1st. It was available to demonstrators here in October. And it comes with, um, there's a whole other stamp set and some dies and some designer series paper and some embellishment. This one will be available to customers November 1st while supplies last. So I went ahead and grabbed it so I didn't miss out on it. I didn't get the... Um, the other things yet because they're going to be available in the new mini catalog so i have time to get those but this one will be while supplies last and i thought these great big sentiments will be perfect for some christmas cards which they were i used my layering circles dies i used a retired um hat and i added some wink of stella on the uh, very vanilla and then these two are similar but the background the card base is different and the and the matte layer i i think i actually like the crumb cake one better yeah, and on the inside, I put Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, which, again, is from the stamp set. And I just added a strip of paper just to make it a little more festive. Okay, did I add anything on the... There, and I added a strip of that paper. Again, just trying to use up my scraps, whatever I had left. I did too, Julie. I love this designer series paper, and I still actually have a ton more. Hey, Vesta! I have a ton more, and um, yeah... <laughs> I could probably make 300 more cards and still not have used it all. So there's a, those are some of the cards I've made this week. The others aren't, you know, spectacular that I want to show you, you know. You yeah, know. Okay, so for tonight's project, I have had customers tell me that they don't like using 6x6 six six paper because then they have, like, these strips left over. These are one-inch strips. So a lot of people, let me grab a piece of 6x6 six six paper here. Uh, let's just grab this one right here in front of me. Okay. Hey, Becky. Okay, I'm grabbing a 6x6. Six six. There we go. Okay. So a lot of people, when they make their card fronts, they cut off the 2 inches, and they use a 4-inch chunk, and then they're left with 2-inch strips, right? And then a lot of people like feel that's wasted. I, I totally use my strips. So I'm going to get you an idea of how to use some of your strips tonight. So I was scrolling through my um, YouTube people the other night, and uh, Lisa Freeman, she's a fellow demonstrator, she had posted this video, and actually I haven't even watched the video, I just saw the thumbnail, but it made me inspired to make this card. So I will link her after this video is over in the description. She, I believed, used thinner strips. These are one-inch strips. I'm pretty sure she used three-quarters inch strip because she actually had five of them on her card front. And I've totally made this my own. Um, I, I made it a little smaller, but, you know, she inspired me, so I want to give her credit for that. I used the Decorative Circle Punch. Love this one. And again, the Framed and Festive stamp set. And these are the 2021, 20, 2023 um, embellishments. They're the Evening Evergreen color. But isn't that gorgeous? I haven't done the insides to them yet because I'm going to make a whole bunch of these, and then I'll work on the insides Okay, so I wanted to show you how I made it, um, and then a couple more examples, because I kind of made like a bunch. I, I usually don't do that. I just, I just kept going. So we're going to start with these. These are from T Boutique, and honestly, they're all, different, they're all different sizes, because that's what I have left in my stash. So I'm using up my stash. So I'm going to get my silicone craft sheet out and put it on under here, just in case I feel like getting a little messy, just in case. So get out my green glue. 
Okay, and before I begin, it's probably very hard to see, but right here, I made a mark at seven eighths of an inch. It's a tiny, tiny pencil mark because I didn't want it showing too much. And then down here, that is seven eighths. There's another one right there. It's really hard to see, but that's they're there for a reason, okay? Because my first strip, which is gonna be this one, is going to go diagonal there. And I wanted a guide so that it's roughly the same amount at the top as the bottom, and you'll see that in a second. So with my glue, I'm gonna throw some glue on there. I'm not gonna go above that, that line that I, those dots I drew. Does that make sense? Okay, give it a good press. So I use those two tiny little pencil marks as a guide to help me so that I, I left some white space here. All right, I'm gonna give that a good pressing. All right, and my next one, so this is Tea Boutique. This is Fresh Freesia, Parakeet Party, Garden Green. I think those are the colors that are in here. Love it. Fresh Freesia, I realized I only have two pieces left of Fresh Freesia cardstock. I gotta get some more. This is a great, quick, easy way to use up your one inch strips. And you use up your one inch strips. They're not just sitting around. Use them. Okay, so roughly you can see now because I did that, oh, come on now, I did those marks. It's roughly, now, probably not exactly, um, the same size of white at the top and the bottom. And this size white, I forgot to say that, is three and three quarters by five. All right, so it's three and three quarters by five. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over. Now that looks terrible, right? Well, of course, we're gonna, yes, I love scrap ideas. And cards, Julie, I try to use my scraps. We're gonna get, these are my sticky scissors. I use them for all things sticky. We're going to just cut along the side and cut those off. So this is really the only scrap that I'm having out of this pack of paper. And honestly, some of these are big enough. I could probably use them and I might. Ooh, on the inside, on the inside corner. Mm, well, maybe I won't throw those away. Eh, probably will. I can always dig them out of the garbage. They're right here, right? Okay, only things, only paper in there. Okay, so that is three and three quarters by five. Now I'm gonna map that on a parakeet party, which is four by five and a quarter. So we're going up by half, uh, not half, quarter inch increments. Got my green glue, love my green glue. And then I'll show you some examples I made and I've got a few more of these to make. Just went through my six by six papers and I also have one example of a, a 12 by 12 paper I did too. Okay, so this is a typical card base in Fresh Freesia, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Use my bone folder, burnish my crease, give it a good old burnish there. Okay, now we're gonna put that on the front. Then I'll show you my original one I made of these that I don't particularly love and then I'll tell you why. Because, you know, you can't love every card you make. At least I don't, anyway. Some of them are like, eh. Okay, so here is my card front. Now, what I did is I took, ooh, a stamp set. I don't know if I've shown you guys. It's in the annual catalog, Good Feelings, Huge Sentiments, right? Um, so I'm, I'm making this a thank you card. I love that big font. You know what? It's kind of the same font in this one, aren't they? Mm-hmm. All right, so I stamped it in Fresh Freesia and I used a die from the Tasteful Labels dies, which unfortunately just retired and I'm really sad about that, but it's one of my favorites and I know a lot of you have it, so I'm using it, okay? And so it went like that. Now, here's the dealio. I wanted this matted. So here's what I did. I took a piece of Parakeet Party. I took my die. I laid it on there. I traced around it with a pencil and then I cut it out and it ended up with this. So now I have a matte layer for my die. That is perfect. I do that quite often if I want a matte layer and there isn't, they're not like layering dies. I do that quite often with my dies. And it, you know, it's not that hard to cut out a simple shape, right? Not that hard at all. Okay, we're gonna pop that up on dimensionals, of course. Then I'll show you my original that I actually added some, um, ribbon and I didn't really love it. So 
I don't know. I do need to add something to this card. It is still a little naked. Ooh, I might add a brushed brass butterfly. That would be pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put it right about there-ish. There we go. All right, so here's my original. I added some ribbon underneath of this, and I didn't really, eh, I don't love it. But I did add these um, gems I had left in the Fresh Freesia. Um, if you don't have these, you can use your rhinestones and your Fresh Freesia stamping blend marker and just color over the top of them to get that. Now, here's the difference. Can you see the difference? I'm pretty sure you can, right? Okay, so I made this one first, and I didn't feel like the matte layer got enough attention. So when I made it again, I made my original first layer five by three and three quarters. This is five and a quarter by four. That makes this one, right, uh, five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then it, it just, I just didn't feel like the Fresh Freesia had enough say in this card. So that's all the difference that an eighth of an inch makes on each side. Um, so I really, I, I like this layout better. Um, but I think I am going to add, ooh, maybe, maybe a brushed brass butterfly. All right. So I want to show you another one. So originally this is in the Evening Evergreen in the Lights Aglow Designer Series paper. I thought, what would it look like in the Cherry Cobbler? So let me grab those. So I have my Cherry Cobbler base, which is one of my favorite colors. Love Cherry Cobbler. Actually, I like all the reds. Poppy Parade's probably my least favorite red. Um, yeah. This is a piece of gold from the brushed metallic foils. Um, because I realized I only have like this big of a piece of regular gold foil left. So, oops, probably need to order some more of that. Oops. This will be my matte layer. And normally I would gut this. I would cut out the middle. I just, I just didn't do that. I actually have a ton of that. So I'm okay with that. This again is three and three quarters by five. And I did my mark. Yep. There's my mark. And there's my mark, so I know that that is what I need to um, be looking at. And I haven't laid this one out how I want it yet, so let's see. If we put that one there, that one there, because I don't want the two ones that have the foil in it uh, right by each other. Yep, that's how I'm going to do it, just like that, just like that. All right, so today I had a meeting up at the high school where I direct the musical. They just installed a brand new sound system. Oh, I'm so excited. Sound system last year was just atrocious and kind of ruined our show in some aspects because it just stopped working in the middle of one of our shows. Um, so I'm really excited that we have a working sound system. Brand spanking new, like hasn't even been used yet. All righty. That's my exciting news for today. That was that was exciting. See how quick this is? You can do so many of these and then, you know, just work on this. Do a bunch of these and then work on putting the other stuff. Vesta, you, oh, you like the ribbon? Let me look again. Let me look again. Let me look again. Okay, Vesta likes the ribbon. I don't hate the ribbon. I just, I don't know. Maybe, I think maybe if I had like halved it, so if it was only like that much sticking out, I don't know. I don't hate it, but... Anyway, okay, next, flip it over, use my sticky scissors that I don't care about, and cut off the sides. You could use your trimmer or, um, yeah, your trimmer to do that as well. I just, scissors are quick and easy for me. All right, now it's just about assembling our card. So we put this on, oh, I want it that way, don't I? Now, with foil, when you glue on foil, you do need to give it a little more time um, because it does kind of um, not adhere quite as quickly because, you know, it, the glue can't really soak in the fibers of the metallic. So just be careful that you don't bump it before it completely dries, okay? And I am actually just going to put in the middle because you can see glue through the foil, so I don't want to... Um, Put it all the way to the edges because then it's messy. Uh, there we go. Okay, now for this one, let me grab my stamp. 
I have the, oh, that's a thank you. Don't want that one. The We Wish You Merry Christmas. And I have a scrap of white here with our cherry cobbler ink. All right. Ooh. There we go. I'm going to have it near the bottom because I'm going to use my punch. I love punches. Oh, 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 you see what I'm saying? Mm hmm. See the E on have? Don't like that. Don't like that. Good thing there's an emergency side. Okay, this is a brand new um, ink pad, so it's um, it is a little juicy. So there we go. Not quite as quite as exuberant of stamping there. I just pressed down a little hard. All right. Good thing there's an emergency side. Okay, punches so quick and easy. I love punches. I like dies too, but man, I use my punches over a die any day just because it's so quick. Speaking of dies, I got to my 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel, so I had a giveaway. So um, somebody won a mini stamping up cut and emboss machine, which I hope to get in the mail to them tomorrow. Um, so that's exciting. So thank you to everyone who subscribed over my YouTube channel. All righty. So let's put that here. I probably, no, I am for sure going to put some something on this card. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to do the basic layout. One more because this other paper I hadn't really thought about until I thought about it. So which one do you like better, the green or the red? The green or the red? Oh. They are both really pretty. Whew. Okay, last one, last one. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, polished pink. What? It, it's gonna be a Christmas card. Polished pink, shaded spruce. Whoo, what am I doing? Okay. All right, so there's our basic, basic card. Okay, so Celebrate Everything is a host paper in the mini catalog, and it is a ginormous pack of paper. And I pulled out all the ones that are Christmassy. So they are two-sided. So this one's going to be here. Mm, let's see. Mm, yeah, I like that one. So this Christmas paper, um, let's see. So this one, yes, this one's got black and white Christmas trees, which I've seen people color in. Um, yeah, so those are four pieces I just grabbed and cut one inch strips because you know what? For that one, I didn't actually have any scraps of it yet. Um, not small ones anyway. So I actually just cut an inch strip. So if you don't have one inch scraps, that's fine. Just cut yourself a one inch strip. Because uh, I've made a few cards using this paper. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I made my Thanksgiving cards using this pack of paper because when it says celebrate everything, it really does mean that. There's July 4th paper in there, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Yeah, lots of paper in that big pack and it's, it's 48 sheets. It's so much paper. Okie dokie. There we go. And there we go. All right, so let's cut our side here. Use up those scraps. Mm, yeah, I didn't cut that perfectly. I'm gonna try that again. See a little bit there? I don't wanna leave that. There we go. There we go. All right, let me get this out of the way because I'm done with that now. Time to assemble our card. All right. Oh, very retro. Yeah, it, it is a little bit. I love non-traditional colors. Um, yeah, I just, I like bright colors. And this polished pink is so bright and I love it. I actually hadn't even looked at this side before. It's like, oh, oh. Well, I hadn't looked at it in that I was considering it for making a card. I know I had glanced through the paper pack, but that just jumped out at me. I'm like, oh, I love that polished pink piece right there. So I had to use it. There we go. So thank you to Lisa Freeman who inspired me on YouTube. I will definitely post a link to her video so that you guys can check her out. She's got lots of great ideas too. 
All right, so there's that one. And again, I'm not going to decorate it yet. I was just trying to show you guys the layout. I will definitely put a Christmas sentiment on this one, obviously. Okay, so we've got this one. We've got this one. And we've got our thank you. So again, it doesn't have to be Christmas. I'm just in a Christmas mode because I am trying to make 300 Christmas cards. I have 142, 43, 44, 45 of them made now. So, you know, I'm almost halfway there. Um, yeah, I do send out a lot of Christmas cards because I just like making them. And I do make them mostly different. I think I've made four of some cards, but one of others. So a lot of them are one of a kind. I just send them out because I like to send out stuff. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to place an order at stampingup.com, be sure to select Amanda Boxer Demonstrator. This is the October host code. There is a joining special through the end of October that you get a bunch more stuff for free than normal. So uh, if you have any questions, please email me at boxstarstamping at gmail.com. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for helping me grow my channel here on Facebook and on YouTube. So thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye.